Hello all, it's Tom the taxi driver and look at this beautiful weather. So I'm on lockdown, I'm at the front of my house. Don't worry, I haven't gone far. Um, and I'll basically, this video is telling you about the uh, London Electric Vehicle uh, Company electric cab, about how the charging works, what charge points are installed, how you can calculate uh, what your electricity usage is as well. Um, and all of the things I cover in this video are applicable to just about every electric car as well. So. Don't worry if you're watching this and thinking, oh, I haven't got an electric cab, I haven't got an electric car. This is all good, good notes uh, to use as well. Now, my cab comes with two different types of charge ports on here. Um, they are, uh, one's called a Type 2, which is also a CCS. I'll get into that a little bit at the moment. Um, and one of those is a, uh, a CHAdeMO, the other charge point CHAdeMO. So Type 2 and a CHAdeMO, or CCS and a CHAdeMO. Now, basically, it, the, the CCS type system of charging is generally a, a European style charger. So you'll find a lot of the, uh, the Renault Zoe's and things like that. They all come with a type one or type two charger, whereas a Chademo is more of a, a Japanese style. So a lot of your, uh, your Nissans and things like that uh, will come with that style on it. If you're getting thinking about buying an electric car or this cab, most of these cabs now do come with both those charge points installed. I would strongly recommend getting both those charge points installed just means that you have a lot more flexibility and options and freedom when you are uh, at the charging points um, you know if, if a chademo is taken a ccs you might not be able to get on any because sometimes the um the station has uh, a plug for um ccs uh, and a plug for chademo but they um but that a single station can only be used with one point at a time so yeah but other stations it's slightly different um, I'm going to show you what the, both those look like now. So on my cab here, they're positioned behind these flaps. And uh, that's the uh, the CCS or the Type 2. So there's actually two different ways of using this point. That's Type 2. So this is what most people use in their household at home. Just this one point on the top. So I use this with my household plug at home. And uh, on this bottom bit is the other part. This together is CC. It basically means combined charge something. Um, so on the street... If you use both both those at once, you get a 50 kilowatt charge. At home, on my uh, this will run to a three pin. Oh, sorry, let's close that just to make that easier for argument's sake. This Type 2 will run to a three pin uh, socket. So basically, as it is at the moment, it's Type 2. And if I open that flap, that's now CCS. So let's close that. It's quite hard to do that bad looking. And um, on the other side, so that's the European system, that's the um, uh, Type 2 CCS. The other side is Chadamo. Chadamo, Japanese, and uh, I suppose it's probably a bit like a uh, uh, a Betamax versus VHS argument. Both do exactly the same job, they both put in the same charge rate, um, just two different systems basically. Now how can you calculate these? What's the uh, what's the difference? How can you calculate these at home? So as I said earlier, underneath this one is a, uh, is a Type 2. And now on that type two, run into a household pin, as in a free pin plug, normal free pin uh, system, that will put out your maximum household draw, which is 2.2 kilowatts or 2,200 watts, which is the most you can get out of a, uh, a household plug generally. Um, so going by that rate, you then have to work out what the capacity of the vehicle is to then determine how long it will take for you to charge your vehicle. I know that on this cab, the capacity is about 25 kilowatts. So refer to the owner's manual instruction for that. Um, and also you can time it roughly as well, you know, get used to the pattern of your charges. 25 kilowatts divided by 2.2 kilowatts roughly equates as about 11 hours. So therefore on a household three pin socket running off the mains drawer, so I haven't got any plug point charge points installed, this will take 11 hours to charge from empty. Now. Using these sums as well, you can calculate how much uh, that will cost you as well. And I'll try to put some of these sums below so you've got it in written form to, to understand this as well. My household unit works out about 14 pence a kilowatt. So 14 pence a kilowatt hour. So do that same sum again, um, which is, of course, bear me on this. Uh, yeah, your 25 kilowatts uh, times uh, by your, your 14 pence in which case mine works out as about £3.50, £3.60 per complete charge because it's then 11 hours I've got to do that, fill up that, that full 25 kilowatts. Um, so yeah, divide that by that and obviously that gives you the the, the, the hourage there as well. Um, on the street, you're then running at about 50 kilowatts. 
actually before i go to the street let's talk let's talk about the uh, having a charge point installed at home having a charge point at home is like a free phase very similar to what your cooker runs and uh that will then run at seven kilowatts so effectively they're about three times the speed of what a uh, just running it off the three pin mains is therefore it should then charge in around three hours time this is me doing sort of rough maths by the way so don't expect me to get these 100 percent correct but this all worked out when i've so i haven't got a calculator up in front of me to do this exactly so yeah that'll be about you know three to four hours if you've got a charge point installed at home on the street however 50 kilowatts 50 kilowatts to fill up a 25 kilowatt cab in theory is about half an hour 50 kilowatt divide that by 25 uh, so 20, yeah equals about half an hour because you're putting uh double the amount into so yeah about about half an hour is what long length it should take obviously you get tesla superchargers they run at 150 kilowatts uh so in theory to fill up this cab i'm not going to be able to work that out but three times quicker than a 50 50 kilowatt charger you see where i'm going with this however this cab this ccs port is limited to 50 kilowatts so whilst yes the type of charger fits and yes you'll be able to get this cab uh, onto uh, a tesla supercharger or a station that supports 150 kilowatt ccs this will physically restrict it so it will it will reduce the, the power coming in effectively and that's basically it that's the sort of main ins and outs on charging um so my biggest tips would be to try and get a chadamo and a ccs you're covered in, in both eventualities um yep you can charge at home on a free pin plug as well a lot of people get confused about this nope you're not going to melt your house down or anything like that because you are running at uh, the maximum draw uh, of your of your um, you know of the, of the plugs basically um, obviously don't have any other extensions or anything else running off that same plug or that same circuit because that will cause problems because if you're trying to charge four electric cars at once off of that then you've got uh, effectively um, you know nearly the best part of, uh, of 10 kilowatts coming out of there so I wouldn't do that that's pretty much how you charge one of these. See you again soon. Like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll uh, see you soon.